Happy New Year, everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful, safe, and very successful 2023. Anyway, I, I am uh, 240 meters from, uh, from my place. Here is where it starts uphill. So I get 200, approximately 240 meters as a crow flies. And then from here, it's uphill for the next six kilometers. But what I did yesterday is I came out and I set up seven snares. Five snares are set on new trails, trails that I didn't previously set on. And two of those seven are set on trails that I did previously set on. And I just dropped snares there because I had seven snares with me. And uh, the gates and everything were already made, so it was quick and simple. And yesterday was wet and rainy and, and I was cold at the end of it. So I just dropped down a couple of snares uh, in, a, in a quick, simple spot. Anyways, let's go check and see if we got any rabbits today. We're going that way. Okay, this is uh, snare number one right here. It uh, rained last night and then it turned to snow. It was not a great night for setting snares. It wasn't a great day for setting snares and it wasn't a good night for getting the rabbits to run. Right now there's ice all over that snare. But you can see the ice all over this. So all I'm gonna do is just clean off all this ice that's on the snare in hopes that it will uh, fire good and you can see I went out yesterday and I, and I made some new snares um, I have two of the prototypes two of the seven were the the prototypes I used with the white wood all right but uh, here I'm using alder as the toggle so I made up uh, how many snares I made up some last night too I got seven so I'll have 14 toggle snares, toggle tie snares. I don't know what we're going to call them, the toggle tie snare, I guess. I have seven set, two were the prototype with the, with the white wood. Remember, it was all white, and it, and it was, uh, I had some white wood just under, under one of the beds at the house. So we have six more to check. But this here trail that the, that the snare is on here, only one rabbit had run onto it. So I knew this was a very um, low percentage chance. But, you know, if one rabbit passed there before, he may pass there again, right? And it was already all set up. So winter camping, eh? See, the, see what we're dealing with? We're getting snow, then we're getting, we're getting a couple of days of mild, then we're getting a couple of days of snow and a couple of days of mild, and that's... The weather pattern for the next foreseeable future until winter fully kicks in here uh I, I'm, I'm dying to get out with the the canvas tent now because i got i got the setup i got the stove and i got the sleeping bag i got everything i need to do some winter camping and uh i just need the snow i just need the weather to cooperate so this is a uh, rabbit snare number two and you can see that it's all snowed in and iced up so I'm going to get that one in working order and move on. And as you can see, rabbits are getting pretty cute this time of year. Came right to the back of the snare last night, but wouldn't, uh, wouldn't go through it, eh? Would not go through it. And this is the, the, the new toggle. Anyway, uh, we came within inches. He probably sniffed around there and decided not to uh, take his chances on, on jumping through. Maybe tonight. So this is snare number three. It was my most protected snare, and I just had to clear the uh, ice off of it. So that's that's not a good sign. Um, this one here is a prototype. I hope you can see it. You should see a whitish toggle up there that tied it off. But anyway, maybe tonight will be a better night. 
So that's three of the seven snares check and uh, no rabbits yet. Well, we came close on the lower one there, eh? The second snare, so, uh, a rabbit did move by it. But that snare was not, that one was really iced up bad. So maybe if we had a rabbit moving before before it turned cold and got to, to freezing. Hey. Yeah, I think there's a song lyric there somewhere. Anyway, uh, maybe maybe we have a rabbit. But it was it was a poor night. It was raining. Then it turned cold. Then it turned to wet, heavy snow. Perhaps an inch and a three quarter, two inches of uh, of snow. You know. Wet, sticky snowman snow. Anyway, we're still going uphill and we're heading that way. Some wet, sticky snow falling here. This is snare number four. And if it smells like gun smoke, it's uh, because there is gun smoke. I came here. There was a rabbit alive in the snare, sitting right there. I didn't know how well he was uh, caught, or if he had chewed on the snare too much. So I, uh, if you remember Daniel Sturge, uh, backwoods barbarian, he did a pen set using those popsicle pens and had a rabbit alive in the snare. So instead of coming over and grabbing the rabbit like I normally do, I took the lessons learned from Daniel and uh, I uh, just dispatched him without getting him hopping around too much. But this is a toggle snare. It's snare number four that we checked today. And we got our first rabbit. Okay. So, toggle rabbit. He was caught around the neck. He just didn't fight hard enough. It was only a small bunny. So we had a neck shot on him. <laughs> a beautiful little rabbit. He had a neck shot, but he wasn't, uh, he didn't pull hard enough to uh, choke himself out fully. <laughs> so the uh, toggle snare works. Works mighty fine, I think. A little hard to loosen off today due to the uh, oh my due to the freezing rain yesterday but just like that snare is off the rabbit's done the toggle snare works works good so the snare is still in really good shape and yes I'm gonna reuse it okay, so there's some there's some bends and kinks into this, but not too, too bad. Nothing that we can't get back into a, a workable, workable snare here. All right. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is reattach the snare. The toggle snare. How fast can I tie it on? Well, hey guys. It's tied on. Now I'm just gonna uh, position the snare. There we go. Toggle snare set. So here is snare number five. But perhaps the rabbit over there was the one that was making the tracks around snare number five because it's not far from snare number four. And like I said, we don't have a great rabbit population. But I can see that there's ice on this one as well. So I got to uh, run my thumb and stuff over that snare just to make sure uh, I clear off all the, uh, all the ice. So if something does pass through there, the eye of the snare is free to, to slide. Anyways, yeah, that rabble was alive. I had him by the neck and uh, he just didn't uh, pull hard enough to uh, really cinch it up good enough to uh, fully choke him out so he, maybe he's uh, freshly caught sometime early this morning 
and maybe there was ice on this there that uh, did not allow it to uh, get fully closed. Whatever the reason, I'm going to make sure all my other snares are in proper working order. So this is snare number six. And again, it's iced up, eh? I don't know if I can put the camera there without being on a stand. Would it stay upright? There you go. And all I'm doing is... Take, oh, that was nice there. Take my finger, moving along the snare, trying to melt all that ice as I go. And then I go down this way. Reposition the snare. So let's hope now the, the wire is cold and off anything, any precipitation that falls will not uh, hamper that. And this is uh, another one of those uh, uh, alder toggle snares. T toggle tie snare. And so far, one one rabbit caught, 100% uh, success on holding them. However, it was a small rabbit. Snare number seven. And this one here is iced up as well. Ice is on it really good. Lock off that ice. Get the snare back where it needs to be. Chin lifter is already there. Happy with that. Looks good. And this was a, uh, a prototype. This is actually the very first one that I that I made, you know. And you can see the uh, the white wood toggle. But anyway, uh, other than it showing up really obvious, uh, it, it works just as, as uh, well as the, the alder toggles, right? So yeah, seven snares, one rabbit. And this was set up on a, a trail, and I had only seen one track go through there in all my travels here. So it's a very low percentage trail, however, it's a trail nonetheless. And I, I already had everything all set up. All I had to do was put the toggle around the tree and the snare in the pinch pole. <clears throat> and again, pinch pole, I, I don't know if people can see it, but I actually took my knife and, and, and split the pole a little bit so that the wire can actually slide down into it. Oh, I guess I should take off the lace off the back of it. But I'm sure a rabbit will pull hard enough if I get a decent sized rabbit, you know. Not like that little guy I got. So that's it. I had seven snares set. And I ended up uh, picking up a rabbit. And it was on a trail that I didn't use prior, you know. But the rabbits are getting pretty cute at this time of year. And like I said, last last night was not a good night for snaring rabbits. We had, let me see, rain right up until, who I guess, dark. And then it turned to real sloppy snow and then freezing snow and all that stuff. Right now, little fine ice pellets are falling. So, this is an area, this is an area surrounded by uh, trees, protected from the wind, but the ground is unlevel. So what I need to do is, uh, I, 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 need, I need to get about a foot, foot and a half of snow. And with a foot and a half of snow in here, I'll be able to come up with a skidoo, no problem. Yeah, through the stumps and stuff. Well, I'm going to need a little bit more net down through the stumps. I need about two feet of snow. <laughs> and I'll be able to come in here with the skidoo. Get this place all flattened out. And uh, we can do some winter camping. Right here. Look, and it's not protected from the uh, overhead, unfortunately. Because it's a little clearing, a little opening. But it's definitely protected from the wind on, on all four sides. So anyway, I would like to thank all my subscribers for following along, especially the ones in the last three years, the new ones that came on in the last three years. I wasn't putting out a lot of content. I still doing kind of roughly the same kind of content uh, now, but it's not due to my ability to get out. It's due to the weather that we're being faced with. We're getting a couple of days of snow, a couple of days of rain, a couple of days of snow, a couple of days of rain, and it is really hard to... Uh, to, to do anything in that kind of weather, you know. But once winter sets in, I'm sure it will. Uh, we'll probably be in for a rough winter then. Once winter sets in and I can get out on the skidoo, we're going to do some uh, canvas tent camping. And it's nice to come up here on the mountain. 
nice and quiet and peaceful. And I had a calf moose come through here yesterday. Calf moose broke out right here and went right on down through there. Only a, a young calf, you know. No mama around. Seems like I'm forgetting something. Happens all the time. You guys can figure out what it is. Let me know. So I noticed uh, that there was rabbits running through here, but I sharpened the stick and I can't break it through the ground here nowhere, even though I'm on moss. So I am not going to set a snare here because I can't put in my my pinch pole, uh, but I do have a trick for that. It's called a steel rod and, uh, and a little hammer. You just tap the rod into the ground and, and make your gate holes, shove sticks down in those. Once you once you break through the uh, the frozen ground, then uh, it gets pretty easy to push it down beyond the surface, you know? Top uh, inch or two is, is froze real good there now. Okay, so I'm just gonna set the snare here right quick. One of those new um, alder snares, alder toggles. That's not going nowhere. A little slit cut on the top of the snare, push that down, position the snare. It needs to be. Four fingers up. Nice. Now I just gotta lock it in. There we go. Get a shove down there. Perfect. Ground is. Oh, there's an idea. I got shoved up on that right there. Perfect. And that's looking pretty good, eh? Now I'll just get a chin lifter. There you go. That quick, that simple, that easy, we have uh, a snare set. Now I seen a rabbit had passed there twice. Once last night, and, and once a few days ago. Again, not a high percentage trail, but it only takes them passing there once to, to make it work, eh?